Well, the 2022 midterms are now in the history books, and unlike the predictions, there was no red wave. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is live in Allentown, where one of the most watched races also took place last night. Howard, what's the latest? Yeah, Natasha, you know, the Associated Press has just called this race for Congresswoman Susan Wild. However, this was razor thin, and it was a, a, it was a ballot question that they say up here that they were not going to stand by it. My kids, they're in college. I really wanted their rights to be protected. Voters in the Lehigh Valley reminiscing on what motivated them to go vote. Women's rights was uh, a big thing on my list, which is what took me out to the polls. The race here was between incumbent Congresswoman Susan Wild and Republican businesswoman Lisa Scheller. At 2 in the morning Wednesday, Wild declared victory and tweeted, this seat belongs to the people of our community and so does this victory. By mid-afternoon, while not conceding the race, Scheller tweeted this video. And while it may not be as a candidate, I do plan to stay engaged in the political process because I believe we still can lend our collective voices to fight for our opportunity and prosperity. It's a vote for consistency. It's a vote for moderate Democrats. Matt Turk is in his first term as Allentown's mayor. I'm absolutely thrilled. Susan's been fantastic for our city and we're looking forward to a couple more years with her. But not all voters are thrilled. I feel like uh, the way things are going right now, we needed a big shift, especially in our state, and uh, it didn't happen, so a little disappointing, but what are you going to do? And with the red wave never materializing, University of Pennsylvania professor and political analyst Brian Rosenwald says when it comes to the Keystone State, it's all about the candidates. There is just a ceiling for conservative Republicans um, and, and extreme Republicans. The problem uh, for Republicans is that that's where their base is. That's where the people who show up in Republican primaries want the party to be. Now, again, the Associated Press has called this race now for wild. However, if you want to know exactly how close this was, just about 4,700 votes was in between them. But for now, live in Allentown, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.